Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelvin Johnson. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure the Intune connector for Active Directory for your Intune environment. So let's say you are trying to configure Windows Auto Pilot for your enterprise environment. So you want to be able to actually join um, devices offline to your domain environment. And this device should actually be managed by your Azure Active Directory Intune and your domain server so what you need to do first of all is actually to configure the intune connector for active directory this will actually allow you to enroll computers to your on-premises environment which will actually sync back to microsoft intune so what you need to do first of all is to go to your go to microsoft endpoint manager and from there you just click on enroll on your devices and then enroll device and here you can see we have the intune connector for active directory so click on that by clicking on it you can see we have the option called add so click on add then now we need to actually download the on-premises intune connector for active directory it's actually going, going to download so now we see you can see we are seeing an error message so what you need to do is just to click keep you know, it's actually a Windows Server, so it's actually because of security reason, it actually needs to make sure that you need to actually download those files. So let's just click, click, keep anyway, so that we can actually download the file to our server. So let me just open the folder, the location, and then here you can see the OGDC connector. So double click on it. Let me just accept the license and then click install click yes so you can this actually in dodge says the installation is being carried out so let's just wait for some seconds for this installation to complete so it says the installation has been completed now let's try to configure it right now so let me just click yes so here you can see we need to actually sign in for the uh, connector to be able to link to our Azure environment. So let me just click sign in. Here you need to enter your admin credentials on Office 365. Click next. And here we need to enter our password. And then click log on. And then let me just click, and click yes. You can see it says the entry connector for Active Directory is successfully, successfully enrolled. So let's just click OK. And again, what we need to do, we need to also, also make sure that the Intune service, the Intune connector service is actually working. So what you need to do right now, let me just open the services.msc, hit enter. And here we need to actually set for the Intune, what did the say connector, you can see it's actually running. So let me go back again to my Microsoft Intune environment and just click refresh. So this is actually going to take some time, about five to 10 minutes before it can actually reflect here on our um, endpoint manager. So let me just pause this video and come back again when it has reflect. So here we go, you can see after, after doing some refresh, it takes about five minutes for our domain controller. You can see the DC01 to be actually reflected in our endpoints manager. And mind you, if you're actually trying to configure autopilot, by default, your domain controller is only allowed to actually um, configure or register just 10 devices. So 10 devices will be 10 devices will actually be joined to your domain server. When you reach uh, when you reach the limit of 10, there will the 11th device will actually fail. So what we need to do, we actually we need to actually delegate control to our domain server to allow the domain server to be able to actually um, Join and all autopilot devices unlimited to the domain server. So what we need to do right now is to go to our Active Directory users and computers. Here you can see I have it on organization unit I created, and also I created an autopilot domain join organization unit. So all devices that will be autopiloted we will actually be coming to this organization um, unit. So what we need to just right click and then click delegate control. 
So next we need to click next. And here we need to just click add. And then we need to actually select, let me just add a computer object to this. And then let's look for this C01. Check and then click OK. So now we need to click next. So here we need to select create a custom a custom task to delegate. Just click next. So we need to select the following only the following object in the folder, and then we need to go for the computer object and then click select create selected object in this folder and delete selected folder in this uh, selected object in this folder and then click next here we need to actually just select everything and then select, give a full control click next and here we go so by configuring the delegation control then our, our domain controller cannot join the file or to piloted device to our domain server as an offline domain the offline join can now carry on unlimited without the 10 device limitation that I said without you doing the delegation control. So next, I will, I will be showing you how to actually configure autopilot on the, um, in your environment. So in the case, for example, you want to make sure that users can actually just put on their device and their device will be configured. They will, they, but you're going to provide a step-by-step -step process on how they can configure autopilot to join the, uh, their device, their personal device to your environment or a common device that they received will be joined to the, uh, to the corporate uh, environment. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. Bye.